Uh, Jacques, if we go back to the playing days, there was a lot of travel. You were a very itinerant player, and you were one of the, the earlier guys to, to go over and embrace life in Japan. Yeah. And it's amazing, all the rugby guys I've spoken to, I've been to Japan, it often feels like I'm on another planet. And yet somehow, for so many of our rugby players, it seems to be a place that you've slotted into really easily and absolutely loved. Yeah, I think the, the people, they make it easier for you to slot in, and the culture. I mean, it's a different, diff, different culture you're going to. Um, in the beginning, was quite tough, going to, to a team Panasonic, which is literally two hours away from, from Tokyo, the, the buzz. And you're literally between rice fields and opposite the big Subaru factory, you know. So and not, a, not a lot of people spoke English there, so it was quite difficult for us to get around. But after a month or two, you start learning a little bit of Japanese, and you start to, to, to help yourself. And um, the second time a lady look at you and she doesn't know what you're asking her, then you might have to help yourself, you know. And it's, <laughs> it's everyday stuff asking, where's the milk? Where's, where's bread? How much does that cost? But I think after a month or two um, being there, you just got used to it and you just, uh, we went with the flow. So it was quite easy to slot in there. Hello.